Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you real quick about uh, Sunday morning. Uh, we're going to continue our series called To the Saints, and um, we're going to move on to verse 15, uh, where Paul begins this prayer uh, for this church in Ephesus. He shifts gears a little bit, and uh, the title of the, the message on Sunday morning is called The Eyes of Your Heart. And what we're going to focus in on is, is that verse 18 where Paul prays for this church. And what he prays for is that the eyes of their heart would be enlightened. And that their, their, the eyes of their heart would be enlightened to seeing Christ for who he is. And, and really that needs to be our prayer. Um, that we would uh, be open, that, that our eyes would be open, the eyes of our heart would be open to seeing Christ for who he is. And, and what that means, if you go back to verse 3 through 14, what we see is this phrase over and over is to the praise of His glorious grace. And what we're seeing is that we need to praise God for who He is. We need to praise Him for His grace. And that's uh, a lot of what it means for our eyes to be open, the eyes of our hearts to be open for seeing Christ and worshiping Christ uh, for who He is. And so, uh, as a matter of fact, Joy posted an article today on our church Facebook page uh, that is written by uh, Pastor John Piper. It's really good. And it's an explanation of what it means that, uh, that the eyes of our hearts are opened. And uh, prior to coming Sunday morning, I'm going to encourage you to read that article. Really, really good. I'm so glad that she posted that. And uh, uh, so anyways, we're going to study that. We're going to get into the rest of Ephesians um, starting this week. So um, I'll see you on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And um, bring a friend with you. Bring somebody with you. Uh, as we continue this study. It's a great study, phenomenal study uh, together. So um, Sunday morning, 10 a.m., I'll see you there. And remember to live the life and tell the story.